This week on Machinery PTV, we traveled to Thief River Falls, Minnesota for a retirement auction that features some big, classic, versatile tractors. In Tractor Tales, we'll look at one of the last in a long line of John Deere Ds and an incredibly rare 20 series tractor that sold in Iowa. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. Now, I got a question for you. Do you love versatile tractors? If you do, stop what you're doing right now, grab your remote, hit that little red record button because you're going to love this show. We're going to watch four versatile tractors sell from a 1973 700 model up to a 2013 model 450 with under 500 hours on it. Now, before all that versatile fun, let's roll back the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clint Griffiths. If you think you're seeing higher prices at the grocery store, you are. The Labor Department says prices in April witnessed their largest one-month increase since February of 1974. U.S. consumers spent 2.6% more on groceries in April as people rushed to the store to stock up on food. The price of meats, poultry, fish, and eggs, that category rose more than 4%. That is, other goods in the consumer price index fell in April, driven lower by oil and gasoline. USDA sharing its latest planning progress numbers with more than half the corn crop already in the ground this week. 67% of U.S. corn has been planted. That's 11% higher than the five-year average. 24% of that crop has emerged. As for soybeans, 38% of beans have been planted. 23% is the five-year average. It's rumored Chinese importers bought at least four cargoes, or about 240,000 metric tons, of U.S. soybeans on Monday for shipment beginning in July. USDA confirming a flash sale on Tuesday of China buying 136,000 metric tons of beans. The buys are the latest in a recent string of purchases by that country. China also announcing new tariff waivers on some U.S. imports, including certain ores and concentrates. The U.S. and China holding talks, updating each other on the aspects of that phase one trade agreement. It comes at a time when tensions have been flared between the two countries over the COVID-19 pandemic. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from around the country. That's it for news. Now back to Machinery P. Well, folks, you love the vintage versatiles? Hey, then stick around. We got an 84 candy striper, 835, showing 6,031 hours coming up. All right, folks, next up, we got a 2008 Versatile 2375 four-wheel drive. This thing's got 2,089 hours on it. Now, two and a half years ago, on a farm auction in central Saskatchewan, I saw an 09 2375 with 2,200 hours on it. So for $100,872 US. But the market for used four-wheel drive tractors across the border in Canada has been stronger for the last 10 years. I'm 40, if I'm right here, bidding 50. I'm 40, if I'm right here, bidding 50, 50. Not a lot of money for those low hours. Right here, bidding 50, now 55. I'm 50, there, 55, now 60. I get 55, now 60, now 65. 65, now 70. Hey, look at there, now 70, 70, 70. Want to bid you better bid? How about 67, 5, sir? 
If you're watching the money there, 67.5. If you want to do it, better do it. Did you want to bid 67.5? Farm retirement, beautiful tractor right here, 67.5. Hey, look at there. Anybody else? Did you wait to the end, sir? 67.5. You got to bid. You got to bid now. Hey, look at there now. 67.5 right here now. Put her in the bank. Internet, you're awful quiet. 67.5. 67.5. If you knew needing a four-wheel drive, and I'm telling you what, under the money, under the money, 67.5 is a bye, bye, bye. 65 right here, 67.5 the opportunity. Here you go, you got a bit to play. 67.5, 67.5, I'll do 66 on an $80,000 tractor. 66, anybody else sees value? 66, 66, 66, y'all done, got to be? 66, put her in the bank right here now, have on 66, 66 right here now, have on times up. Sold it, 65,000 right here. Congratulations, goes to buyer number 102. Buyer number 102, thank you, sir. Well, folks, the last 24 versatile 835s that I've seen sold at auction, average price $11,438. Now, in today's sale, we got an 84 model candy striper that's showing 6,031 hours. Hey, look at the now, come, 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 right here now, did you want to bid? How about 11 pie? Always bid one more time, when in doubt bid. Let them buy, let them buy, let them buy. 11, two and a half, and I'll let them buy. Let them buy, 11, 750. 11, five right here, bid to 750. Did I tell you it's got near new rubber? 11, 750, now 12. 12 right here, bid 12, 250. I'm 12 right here, bid 252, 52, 52, 59. A nickel's worth of premium when you consider who owned it and how it's been cared for. 12, 250. 12, 250. You gotta bid, you better bid now one time. What do you say? Hey, look at there, now Tom right here. Bid it here, 52, 52, 52, 52. Wanna bid, you better bid, Tom 250. Tom 250, sir. You know what? 12, 1. If this is your tractor, would you want me to take that bid? 12, 250, and I'll buy a lunch and throw in a couple of caps. 12, 250, and you'll be thanking me every time you go in and twist its tail. 12, 250. Go ahead and do it, sir. I'm working for the family today. The value's there. You've seen it. I visited with you. Thank you. 12.5. Oh, hey, to get there now. 12.5. Hey, to get there. 750. Oh, you know what, sir? You're not paying too much when four guys are trying to buy it. 12750. 12750. It's the rubber. It's ten thousand dollars worth of tires on it. Yes, new fire. Thirteen thousand. Hey, to get there now. Thirteen. Time you're out. Thirteen thousand dollar wear. Hey, to get there. Thirteen. Now thirteen two fifty. I'm thirteen there now. Two fifty two fifty. Internet gotta be better than thirteen two fifty. I said fifteen. What do I know? Thirteen two fifty. I'm thirteen there now. Two fifty two fifty. Wanna be better than thirteen two and a half a bit wear there now. I'm on times up. Sold it, $13,000 right here by your number. Good job. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Anybody else? Sir, I just thought of this. $3,600, will that help you out? $3,600, bono, baby, 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 and $3,600, do you? Sold it, $3,500. Now $500, bucks. now $550. Look at all the fun you're going to have. $550. Bucks. 550 bono bid you better bid 555 50 pull ahead 550 down the bono bid you better bid 550 down the bono bid you better bid what do you think? Sold it 500 dollars you bid you bought a buyer number 11,000 dollars opportunity here today farm retirement sale 11,000 dollars you gotta bid the play 11,000 bono bid you bid I'll do 10,750 but you better bid quick I'm 10 five right here on the net right here bid to 10,750 10,750 10,750 right here now have them times up Sold it 10,500 dollars it's with Brad at $4,500, the opportunity, I'll do $4,750. One more time, sir, what do you think? $4,750, I'm working for the family today, $4,750, put her in the bank right here, now have them times up. Sold it, $4,500, right here, by her number. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineRepeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineRepeat.com.
Hey folks, I'm up in Grand Forks, North Dakota today, visiting with our friends at True North Equipment and here with Director of Sales, Joe Breidenbach. Joe, you guys have, uh, you got a lot going on here, recently acquired some new stores? We did. Uh, in June 3rd, we actually closed on the acquisition of Evergreen uh, Implement. So we took our four stores combined with their four stores and we are now an eight store entity. Now 2019 a year, you guys have quite a variety of uh, crops that folks grow up here. Is that, tell us about the variety and then as a dealer, how you're able to stay on top of all that for your customers. You know, so we're really lucky in that regard. Uh, so I often think of dealers that have to rely on the corn and soybean market uh, almost exclusively. We've got corn and soybeans. We've also got edible beans, wheat, uh, potatoes, both reds and russets. Uh, we've got sugar beets, which is a huge part of our business. Uh, we've actually got grass now in some of our locations, which has been a new thing for me, honestly. On the beets and potatoes, yes. uh, how, how's that segment been up here the last year or so? You know, really pretty good. Um, sugar beets is nice because it's a fairly consistent crop for folks. Uh, you know, you have to buy shares, so it's it's a limited thing. It's a co-op uh, deal. So that that's a that's a pretty darn good industry for us locally. Okay. Potatoes is up and down like it is everywhere, sure. uh, but actually the last few years that's been very strong as well. Okay. So as long as weather uh, helps these guys out. And what would you say, Joe, 2019, the used equipment market up here for you guys, what, uh, what are your thoughts, what surprised you? Uh, I would actually say what surprised me is our used combine sales, late model high dollar has actually been pretty good. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of our lower dollar segments uh, have been uh, a little slower mm -hmm. versus where I hear some other dealer folks say that that market is hot and their higher dollar stuff has okay. been slower. So that's been good. Row crops have been fairly consistent. Our used sprayer market is good. Okay. Uh, four wheel drives, uh, we need a little more traction there, no pun intended, but, but that's been good oh, too. It's a buying opportunity for folks. Give it is, thought. and we've got some really aggressive programs on sure. used 9R trackers and high dollar combines, mm -hmm. uh, as well as some of our lower dollar combines. So. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week, we're off to the East Coast to check out a classic John Deere D. Built in 1952, this D came with PTO and brakes, wrapping up one of the longest John Deere tractor series produced. We've got a John Deere D, and this one is a 1952 D. It's one of the last ones we were built because it's got PTO and brakes on this. Uh, I bought this tractor from a gentleman in Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, this one could pass to be a tractor to go into the two cylinder club show that they had in Iowa every year. He had an A and he had this one and he decided to take the A to the show and leave this one and I looked at them both and they were restored just alike. They were good tractors. I bought this tractor because of the condition it was in. Have not done any work to it other, other than running and it hadn't been running for a few years as I said before because of my health. Uh, just haven't. Haven't taken the opportunity to run it, but with a short period of time, it can be running. James River came by here about two years ago, and I got this tractor started, and it didn't take anything started. Okay. Nothing needs to be done to this tractor other than might clean the points and the plugs, but other than that, it should start and run all right. It was bought off of a tractor, the tractor shed site. I really didn't inquire about the history on the tractor when I bought it. Okay. Let it stay here in the museum, let people come in and ask questions about it. And then it'll stay here until either my sons or whoever sells it, because I'm not planning on selling it. The most interesting thing, when people come in, they always comment that John Deere, this was the longest series of tractors that John Deere ever built, was the D John Deere. Folks, don't touch that dial. Coming up, our feature item on the show today, a beautiful late model four wheel drive. It's a 13 versatile 450. This thing has 493 actual one owner hours on it. This season, while work for you may have changed, our season is underway. American agriculture farms on for our family and yours. Hey folks, real treat here. I'm with one of the best auctioneers you're ever gonna hear, Brad Olstead with Stephas Crew. Brad, great to see you again, my friend. Good to see you too, and thank you for the compliment. Well, hey, I just call it like I see it, man. I, people, I've told you before, Brad, but people love your auction chant from all our 10 years of YouTube videos and just love the way you call a sale. Now I gotta ask you, you guys have been so busy here in 2019, Brad. What, what's your general take on the used equipment market? 
Well, surprisingly, Greg, uh, we're quite uh, satisfied with the way this market has been handling. Uh, there has definitely been some opportunities uh, with uh, purchasing equipment here in 2019, uh, especially with the way the commodity prices and things like that have been happening. Uh, to say there's been buys at every auction, mm -hmm. but also there's been opportunities and some good price. So uh, we're kind of uh, cautiously optimistic going forward. Uh, the sky is not falling. Uh, we're still going to put in a crop, take off a crop, right. and we need equipment. Right. And the price of new equipment, of course, is not coming down. The availability of new equipment is there, but uh, it's being more limited. Right. So we think these farm retirement sales, any piece of equipment that has a pedigree, uh, commands a value. And we are seeing prices on the rise because of that. And today we're looking for a good strong interest uh, in this tractor right here, the 450 with just under 500 hours. The family purchased it brand new. Um, the only drawback to the tractor, I would say, professionally speaking, would be the 12 speed gear. All right, so options are a key sure. when it comes to resale value. But we've had a lot of calls, had a lot of interest. It sells complete with the auto steer, which is a nice feature. So, uh, you know, to answer to your question, um, you know, quality sells. 116, 117, should be at about 40 like a rock. 116, 117, I'm 116, 117, 118, I'm 118, now 119, he's back in the saddle, I'm 118, 119, I'm 118, internet, you had a late start, had a strong finish, 119, 120, 120, sir, just own it, you said no once before, I can't trust you anymore, sir, $120,000, Luke bought it new, Dan bought it new, Ben on his farm, 120, 121, I'm 120, 121, 121 now, 122, I'm 121, 122, I'm not quick because the tractor's worth the money. 121 to 122. I'm 121 to 122. If you want to be better than 122. If you want to be worse than that, 122. 122. If you got a four-wheel drive at home and you want to update, and I'm telling you what, you're not going to update for a lot to move. Here's your opportunity. 121 to 122. I'm 121 to 122 right here now. You want to get 122. I'm 121 to 122. Low hours, low hours, low hours. That's all I can say here today, ladies and gentlemen. Farm retirement sale. 121 to 122. You're going to sell it. 121 to 122. Time's up. Sold it. Sold it. 121,000. Buyer number. Well, folks, last night before the auction, I was visiting with uh, owner Luke Haushagen. And he said, Pete, I'm a little worried about the, the 450, our feature item on the sale today, the 13 model, under 500 hours on it. He said, Pete, I'm just not getting many calls on it. And we talked about these four-wheel drive late model, be, the market being a little choppy. It sells for 121,000 today. It's a pretty darn good buy. On the auction trail, folks, today I'm in Kingsley, Iowa, here to cover a really cool collector auction for Rob Plendel. And I tell you what, Rob has an amazing collection of uh, new generation John Deere 20 series. I think I counted over 20 1972 diesel power shifts. And today we're going to feature uh, three high crops, including a 2520 72 model diesel power shift. Only 18 of these things made. I'm going to 40 down now, 42 five. I'm going to 42 five. I'm going to step up here, raise your hand, 42 five. 40 down, 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 down,
Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com.